I normally don't really be going live like this, but um, it is early in the morning. I was on my way to work. I dropped my baby girl off at school. My car started acting up. So her dad told me to catch a lift and leave my car there and he would fix it for me. So I called the lift, got in the car with the lift, noticed that they were taking all these different turns, no major streets, was not following the GPS that they were supposed to be following. So I asked the guy, I said, why are you making all these turns? You know, this is not the way to my job. And he wouldn't answer me. He kept on just driving. So I'm noticing that I'm going down these different sidewalks, these neighborhoods. I'm so no nervous. Like, I can't even really talk. So I'm asking the guy, like, why are you turning here? This is not the way to my job. So he kept telling me to be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, like, hold on, I know what I'm doing, so he pulls up behind this other, he pulls up behind this other car, like, a big truck, I don't even know what it was, so I'm, like, just nervous, because I'm on the phone the whole time, and I wasn't paying attention the whole while that he was making all these turns, so I asked him, why don't you go around this truck, why are you just sitting behind the truck like this i have to get to work and then he wouldn't answer me so a black guy got out of the truck he had braids in his head and everything and he started opening the gates to this warehouse or whatever it was and was telling the car that i was in the lift driver to back into the warehouse or whatever so i'm like what are you doing you know like this not the way that you're supposed to be going so, to my job so i'm telling y'all to be safe i had to get out the car and run i was in a lift i have all his information and everything i was riding in a lift car trying to get to work because my car was acting funny i called the police and everything i'm still waiting on the police i'm safe i'm waiting at a gas station um i'm just saying be safe so y'all can share this video i'm in houston texas i was on richmond and Dunvale and it's real out here you have to be safe so anybody who's riding in a lift or uber hear about all these women getting kidnapped well this ain't new they've been doing this you feel what i'm saying forever like where are these people going never to be seen again nobody ever think about that i'll be talking about this stuff all the time in my house you need to start talking about it on the internet you know what i'm saying key and pill try to warn y'all and get out it wasn't just a movie they were trying to tell y'all something wake up they harvesting their organs Alter Carbon, who watched Alter Carbon? They trying to tell y'all something. These people, mad scientists trying to build human robots, for real, using human organs and human skin and human brains. They trying to tell y'all, better wake up, man. This stuff ain't fake. The movies is more real than real life, really. That's what people, y'all y'all, need to get hit, for real, for real. Keep your hammer on you, keep your gun on you, you feel what I'm saying? Cause I do. Hello everybody. So I was, uh, I get up at about five o'clock every morning now and I don't really know what to do with myself. So I was scrolling on Facebook and found out that there is uh, 64,000 black women missing 
in America right now, 64,000. And immediately I said, what can I do to help in this situation? And I want to be a dentist. And I'm like, do I want to be a lawyer now? Do I want to, I want to help. And so I created this page to publicize the women that are missing that are black in Arkansas. And I'm going to correspond. So this is the beginning. We live in some totally despicable times right now. Women and young girls being kidnapped all over the country and our own government want to act like they're powerless in combating this horrendous problem. Years ago, the numbers for black women and children was at a staggering 64,000. Now that number has increased close to 75,000 missing black women and young girls. Let that sink in for a moment. These women and children, never to be heard from again, keeps disappearing in large numbers and don't nobody seems to know nothing. Not her. Now there's tons of wild theories floating around as to what could have possibly happened to the women. But something tells me it's our own government that's up to no good. You can't possibly have that large a number of women and children missing almost every few minutes. I think every 30 seconds is a missing person. But over 64,000 is mainly black women and teenagers and young little girls that keeps going missing and rarely is a handful of them ever return back to their families. So we have an epidemic and we're facing a humongous problem and the government want to act as if their hands is tied and they can't come back to the problem. Well, you know what he said about a problem. If you ain't trying to solve it, you part of it. If you're not trying to solve the problem, then you're part of it. And I believe our government is part of that 75,000 missing black women and teen girls. I really believe so.